Okay, I forgot to make a video, but today we're doing a 14 EcoBoost F-150. I started putting this turbo back in. Okay. I took my, I took my cats off. See, they're on the ground down there. Because I had a bunch of oil blow out through the turbo when it, when it blew out. So I want to make sure that the cats are still good. That or I might just straight pipe it. Um, so if you've never done one of these, you, I'd start with this, take these, your exhaust bolts off, and then you're going to have to, if you get any turbo, it doesn't come with this adapter. So you're going to have to take these studs out anyway. So if they come out when you're taking the, taking the exhaust off, it's not a big deal. Just watch this adapter, this gasket. I reuse the gasket. Um, it's not a crush sleeve gasket or anything. You're going to need this gasket for here on the manifold. And there's, it should come with this. There's a Torx bit here. A Torx bit here for your oil line. There's a coolant line here. And there's a coolant line on the back of the turbo. See it right? Right there. That line. So... In order to take this off, there's a clip right on here. See the little clip? You gotta pop it out with a, a pick. Then you take your Torx bits here. This one and this one. And drop that line. Make sure you place that gasket too. And then we'll get to the part where it really sucks. So you, you take that out. You put your new turbo in. Whatever. Okay. Now, for those of you that don't know, you gotta replace this. It's the inline filter. Oil filter goes here, follows this that oil line that goes down to the bottom of the turbo, comes here. There's a coolant line here too. Let's see if we can get closer. See that? There's a coolant line, and there's an oil line. So, what you gotta do, Take this bolt out, and that leaks a little. So I might have to, I might, I might fix that, but I don't think it's. I think once I put pressure back on it, it'll be fine. So this goes on. This is on the inside of this. So I gotta, I just pulled it out so I can get the fitting out. I'll show you the old fitting. But in order to get to this, you gotta take your AC compressor off. See, got take your drain your lines, vac or recycle them, and then you take your three bolts out. This bolt. That bolt and the top bolt. Don't use an electric ratchet. You use an electric ratchet, it'll get stuck between the frame. Tell me how I know, because I just did it. You gotta take your belt off. Um, there's no tensioner on that, so you just gotta you gotta put a uh, 18 and crank the motor and then pry pry the the belt off um, to get it back on. You kind of gotta do the same thing. I should have put a zip tie on it to keep it in place, but I'll just have to mess with it while I put that back on. Um, other than that, that's how you get to that fitting. I'll show you this old fitting, and this is why we replace it. Sorry, my organization is right, right now is not the best. But here's... Am I on focus? Focus? There we go. See all that stuff in there? It's all metal shavings from the last turbo. The last turbo seized up. Locked up good. Just blowing oil right out the tailpipe. So, I mean, you can probably still see, you can probably still see oil dripping out of that. Oh yeah, there it is. So, you can imagine how much oil was coming out of the back of the tailpipe and everything that was it just I, I was loaded down with a trailer it was not a good day it was a really bad day so to put this back together once I get my exhaust back and figured out I'm gonna put that back on and then I gotta put my vacuum line on I gotta put my boots up back on that's the turbo now I'm going to put this line back on and put this fitting. 
tighten it and that just that just that just pushes on there and then you put it make sure it's on the inside of this put the bolt in and it holds it tight um, then you can you can put your you can put your AC compressor on try and get the belt on at the same time if you want charge your AC um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a compression test in the coolant system make sure I don't have any leaks before I get any further I might do that before I put the AC compressor on um, this thing's all foggy a little better I'm gonna try and do all that make sure I don't have any coolant leaks any lines while I can still see everything if the oils are gonna leak it's uh, it shouldn't leak yeah I, I brand new parts brand new gaskets all this stuff I can get to the oil line on the bottom oh you have to pull the starter to get to this turbo too it's a pain but uh, other than that put your boots back on put your your lines back on put your exhaust back on put the starter back on connect the battery everything should be pretty good to go um, charge your AC